I really like should you be able to knock people into the water in Jeffree's stage and the devil shark to eat them? Yes. I think fatalities would fit super well into VF. KO. Oh, those are two good logos. They're they're very strong, especially AM2. There they are again in case in case you missed it the first time. All right, so here it is. Virtua Fighter Esports. I I mean, I mean Ultimate Showdown. Uh big thanks to David at Sega for sending me this code early. Uh, this is the new Virtua Fighter 5 re-release uh, right now exclusively on the PS4 for free uh, if you're a member of PlayStation Plus. And I was initially a little a little down on this um, before some other details came out, uh, specifically that this is redone in the uh, Like a Dragon engine. Um, so uh, the characters have received a brand new pass. They look, um, you know, quite a good deal visually better. It's still the exact same game as as was Final Showdown. Uh, so same moves, same mechanics, and all that. But since not that many people played Final Showdown, a lot of this will be new to you. There's my boy Jackie. I got lots of boys and ladies in in Virtua Fighter. Even though it's kind of you know a little down my list of my favorite fighters, it's still there in uh, franchises in general and and we'll we'll go through them for sure i just want to check out this little intro because I, I believe this is a brand new intro as well oh there, there yeah there's one of them there's one of the vanessa lewis is super cool it's like uh that AEW wrestler uh jade she's awesome brad burns is all right goes all right oh shit uh, probably one of the most underrated fighting game characters of all time, Al Blaze. Eileen's, yeah, I don't know. Eileen's, so there, there he is. There he is, Yokozuna himself, Takarashi. And there's your JoJo reference. <laughs> Very flashy, I like it. It's the Doral. One of the most memorable bosses of all time. Very nice. Uh, some some definite production work in that intro. All right, just everyone be quiet so we can hear this hear the sound effect. Ah, oh! <laughs> that's nostalgia right there. I spent a lot of time playing Virtua Fighter, uh, Virtua Fighter Remix. I think it was just called Virtua Fighter, the PC version of it specifically. Um, I think Diablo three, uh, no, it's not Diablo three. Diablo one was out, but no, I wanted Virtua Fighter. I wanted it bad. <laughs> I was like, I shouldn't tell this story. It, it makes me look lame, but I'm like, wait, that's exactly why I should say this story. So I like these menus. They're going for this blue and red sort of uh, aesthetic for for the UI and such. I like it. So I believe this is still being, um, uh, some modes are still not online. The tournament mode is not there. I think if you go to the DLC store, um, that is also not functioning because there is, a, there is a thing to talk about in that mode. But first thing you do in Virtual Fighter is go to training almost immediately. Uh, let's go to free trading for now and just and just push some buttons. Uh, let's go through them. Here we have Akira. Uh, he is your Ryu of the Virtual Fighter universe. Even less so than Ryu. He's even less interesting, but he's a really solid martial artist. Has some cool moves, but it doesn't super stand out in terms of personality. Uh, then we have Pi. Uh, she's awesome. Very fast. Very powerful. Um, I kind of miss her little hat. She hasn't had her little hat in a while. I'm not sh That must be something you can customize, though. Uh, her dad, either Landy. Her dad, Land. It's it's him. I mean, it makes sense, right? Uh, he's a tough old bastard. And uh, next we have my actual boy. Not even boy. Not even like ironically. Wolf Hawkfield is my favorite character in Virtual Fighter. He is the coolest Canadian. Uh, fighting game character of all time. Sorry, Abigail and Sasquatch. Then we have uh, Kenny Unruly Jeffrey McWild. 
Uh, he uses Pancratium, which is like Greek wrestling, I think. Um, I, I always think Jeffrey's uh, uh, good for a laugh. They kind of made him sillier over the years. His rival is the Devil Shark. I will not go into that. Now we have uh, Kage Maru, um, or as when all of us as a kid called him Cage. And if you called him Kage when you were like 12 playing Virtual Fighter 1, uh, I have another name for you. You are called a liar. Super cool ninja guy. Um, I hope you can take his mask off in this version. There was that brief time you could do it in VF3, uh, but I think they walked that back. Uh, Sarah Bryant, super awesome. Does she look a lot like Sonya? Yeah, but she's still she's still very cool. Both Bryant siblings, even though their their fighting styles are really really similar. Uh, I think they both use Jeet Kune Do. Uh, they're still awesome. They're they're basically the big American representatives, unless there's someone else I'm missing who might be from America. I don't remember if Brad Burns is. But Jackie, he is as fast as lightning, some would say. Very easy pick up and play character. Well, no character in Virtua Fighter is, is pick up and play. Well, some are, but you know, you know what I'm saying. Jack, Jackie's really fun. Shundi, I, I am not the biggest fan of controlling uh, drunken martial arts characters. There's just, I find I have not that much control, but they're super cool, and you gotta have them at the end of the day. And Shundi is kind of like up there. Like, he might have been the first drunken martial artist practitioner in in video games at least um I, I might be missing someone let me know in the comments how bad i just screwed that up uh now we have lion leon rafael uh from france he does not make allowances for old men i actually forget what fighting style he uses um not the biggest fan of this character but i mean he was he was a neat inclusion i guess aoi ume no koki Koji, I, I, it's, I always have, that's a tongue twister for me. I think she uses like Kempo or Judo, or it's like a dance-like martial artist. She was added in VF3. She's pretty cool. Lei Fei, I remember him looking a lot like more positive and like more like babyface when he was added in VF4. They made him look a little evil, but uh, he's a Shaolin monk, uh, uses that style. Like, he was a good addition to VF4, but an even better one was Vanessa Lewis. Uh, she's, she's super sick. I think she uses, like, military-style martial arts, but I might be wrong on that. Uh, now we have Brad Burns. He's... Like, kickboxing, you gotta have it. It's weird that kickboxing was added so late into the VF universe, but his design is just a little... I don't know. It's weird to say it's forgettable in Virtual Fighter, but there's just something about him where I, I think he has like an actual like kickboxing like costume on um, with like the boxing shorts and everything and that makes him look a little more distinct. Um, but yeah, uh, it doesn't really stand out. What does stand out is the zombie that is Go uh, Hinogami. He's straight out of like Yu Yu Hakusho or, or Grappler Baki. Uh, another Japanese guy, I think he uses judo actually now when I when I think about it. So uh, I'm really sorry to Aoi, who I, I kind of screwed up there. Eileen, uh, she looks not like a weird monkey girl so much, even though she uses monkey-based uh, martial arts. Uh, her character model always was kind of weird to me in previous Virtual Fighter games, but through the power of Like a Dragon, uh, I think she looks better than ever. Now we have El Blaze. Uh, in the war between El Blaze and El Fuerte, I, I'm going with El Blaze. El Blaze all the way. Uh, yeah, and then we have Ganryu. Uh, I mean, Taka Arashi. I don't know, I've kind of cooled off on him. I thought when they added him in VF3, he was like a beast. He was like super cool addition. And he was so problematic. And well, not, you know, not in terms of his social media post, but like in terms of his size of what I think he took a break in VF4 and then came back in VF5. And now we have Jean Cujo. Uh, he was added in Final Showdown, I think, or or one of the Virtual Fighter revisions and stuff. Uh, he's super cool. He's probably the most Tekken character in all of VF. Oh shit, there's a retro option for the stages. That is super sick. Uh, we're going to see plenty of the new stages playing through arcade modes. So let's look at the retro one, because I doubt that's going to pop up in, in arcade mode just raw. 
Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> That's amazing. So, uh, if you don't know uh, Virtua Fighter, really quickly, block is a button, uh, punch is a button, and kick is a button. That's it. That's it for like what your what each button actually does, and any combination of those obviously do more things. Uh, block and guard is uh, a throw. A any directions will give you more throws. Uh, punch, punch, punch. Kick, kick. Do more some flippy whippy shit, and there is about a thousand more moves after that. Its rules are very, very basic. You can kind of eight-way run, evade a little bit. Um, it's general rules, but there's all this nuance. So when people talk about Virtual Fighter and just say like, oh yeah, it's impenetrable. It's not impenetrable to get in there and push buttons. There's no weird super meters or revenge mechanics. At, on the basic level, it's very simple. But if you're to fight someone that's really good at virtual fighter then then there's going to be an uh, uphill battle and it's not going to be you're going to have a bad time you're it's not going to be good and of course uh whenever you do a kick a very powerful kick or move uh, they're going to put an airplane sound on it for whatever reason i don't know one weird thing about virtual fighter is that even though its graphics have changed and gotten better uh over the years its sound design has always remained music great you know in terms of the compositions, but sound design still sounds like it's from Virtual Fighter 2. It's just, it, it's kind of cool, but I would like a remastered like soundscape and have the classic sort of sounds as well. I mean, they have this classic stage and also some classic skins, which we'll talk about a bit later. So I also want to say that the match UI settings can also be set to retro, uh, which is pretty nice. It looks like classic Virtual Fire big green life bars, but I think for this, I will switch it to default because default's the brand new stuff. And I think the UI is pretty clean. All right, so for actually arcade mode, I'm going, I'm going with Wolf, uh, no question. There are other characters I kind of remember how to play just a little bit. Some moves, uh, Jackie and Sarah, uh, Vanessa a tiny bit, uh, Pi, Akira, um, and a lot of other, uh, El Blaze, I mess around with El Blaze a bit in, uh, Virtual Fighter 5. Um, I would, if I was going to continue playing this, which I'd like to, I do want to try out the online, um, I would like to learn, uh, Kujo a little bit, uh, certainly. And, yeah, maybe Go as well. Um, the only characters I actively have no interest in playing is, like, Shun, Lion, um, Eileen and maybe Taka. The, all the rest are kind of like you know, up my alley, certainly. But we're gonna go with the Canadian destroyer Wolf Hawkfield or Turu Ken. Sure, that 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 is what Leonardo DiCaprio uses. Yeah, there he is. I I'd like to hope I win. It'll be really embarrassing. Oh god, so yeah, that, that's what I'm talking about. Ooh, that UI looks nice. Alright, let's just real, real quick, real, real fast, let's put- Ow! Fuck, alright. So the thing with a Virtual Fighter on its default settings is that, like, the damage is super high for everything. But- Ah, here we go! You get knocked out even before you hit the ground. Um, damage is super high, but you can change the health, um, the health parameters. So if it is a bit too fast for you, because, I don't know, two or three big throws, and that's usually all she wrote. Yeah, suck it! DX style! <laughs> excellent! Excellent! Not perfect, but excellent. Usually sick replays. It depends if you get a big hit, I think, but... I like this track, though. I think they redid the music for this release specifically. It would be cool to... Ah, Neck Breaker! Um, oh shit. Uh, to get, like, new retro tracks. Diamond Cutter! And another breaker. That'll do it. So that was three rounds, and look how fast that went. Ah. You won't stay on your feet when you fight me. Amazing. They sound like they were recorded in like 2002. I love it. All right, Sarah. Usually, I find like Virtual Fighter's difficulty for, a, this, trust me. 
for AI is usually pretty smooth. I really like this red and blue uh, stuff for the fonts and stuff. It's just very uh, sharp looking. Quite swish, as some people are known to say. <laughs> ah, damn. I, I do appreciate this stage for... Oh, God. I do appreciate this stage for Sarah just because it invokes a little bit of her VF1 stage. Oh, my God. Okay, it's fine. I'm not sure if Wolf has, like, higher damage or anything, like, on his actual base uh, attacks. I'm not sure if Virtual Fire characters uh, rely on that or everyone has the ha the same health. Ooh. That's called, like, calf branding, I think. Or that might be, like, a downwards throw. Like, some of Wolf's throws are just actually called what they are in wrestling. That is called the Diamond Cutter, by the way, and, and Giant Swing earlier. All right, not the greatest replay, but I'll take it. Ready, go. Yeah. Ooh. I'll, I'll never get that uh, Leviathan DDT off the fence. I don't know the movement for it. There you go. Don't know the movement for it, and I forget if I'm supposed to have my back to the fence. I think this is called Heaven's Divide or something. <laughs> That's a sick throw, though. Fucking, uh, Brennan Williams should be doing this throw. Brennan, are you watching? You won't stay on your feet when you fight me. I, w I want a real-life guy to become Wolf Hawkfield. Just have that be his stage name. And just enter WWE. Or better yet, AEW. I've got the advantage. You've got nothing. Yeah, that's all blaze. Ready, his stage go. is so hype-looking, though. Like, it looks like a real octagon. But now we'll finally see professional wrestling versus Lucha Libre. Now we will know who is king of Russell. Oh! Uh, that, was, that was really impactful. When the KO comes in, it's like, I don't know, I feel super good when I see that flash on the screen. Just because the UI is so nice. Ah! And I, I want to get the ground throw, but it's hard. The I, I need like an extra like half second for the AI to stay down there. And depending on what they do when they when they hit the ground, it's very difficult. Plus, Wolf a little bit slow. You know, I'm not gonna lie. He's a beefy boy. He's got some serious beef. Ah, damn it. I'm not doing bad at all, but like at the same time, ah. Uh, all right, I'll take it. Not the most exciting match. Not it was it was booked all wrong. There you go. That's one of the more impactful. Oh! Don't turn your back on the wolf pack. All right, Jackie. Uh, Jackie's stage. Well, one thing about Via Five though is I'm like, mm, is like every stage is is um, caged in. And I think you can like knock people out of it, but it's been a it's been a while. I don't remember if you can. I would I would love if you could take ah shit. I would love if you could take um yeah yeah excellent nice. I would love if you can have like a variety of stages where you can like switch them on like it's an option. I remember in Bloody Roar you can switch on for like no fences, uh, zero uh, or like half fences. You can break them. I, I don't remember now if you can break them a hundred percent. It might be. Thinking of another game. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Yo! Oh my god, Jack almost got me. But he's like really fast. He's like very like, you know, in terms of combos, not like there's a... It, yes, there's combos in Virtual Fighter, but I just find Jackie like have a lot of that stuff at his, at his disposal at all times. Mm? Yeah, I'm supposed to follow up with that, but I'm, I'm always pretty shocked when I actually get it. Yeah! Oh! Nice! It was like one-inch punch! It's been a while since I've seen these animations. They're still gorgeous. That's the nice thing about this. Like, well, while I would love it if they had done like more like extra content, like put in a DLC character from, from Yakuza. 
anyone. Kiryu, uh, Majima, just anyone, just or like make a whole new game. Would I would I have been more hyped for that? Yes, but because VF5 has aged so well, I mean I, I think this looks really good. Could it probably look better? Yeah, but it definitely reminds me of, of like visually. It, it's it's definitely sharper and more vibrant than than I remember Virtual Fighter 5 being. But you probably have to do like a picture in picture to really see the difference. I really like should you be able to knock people into the water in Jeffrey's stage and the devil shark to eat them? Yes. I think fatalities would fit super well into the end. There you go. Some, it just, you're already getting up and you get hit by a leg drop. That has to be devastating, like, emotionally. Just like that. Like, that's so bad. <clears throat> ah. And there's, like, all this stuff I'm obviously not doing, folks. Yeah, I haven't played Virtual Fighter in, like, years, but, like... Uh, there's all these moves like off the fence that are very situational when people are crumpled, when people are on the ground. Like even characters that don't have a ton of like basic throws always have some type of option. And the the roster that it has, oh, Pi, Pi could be a problem. The roster the game has, like it's not like, you know, 40 characters obviously like Tekken or, or Street Fighter. But I, I'd find the more characters they add when they're when they base it on real martial arts, like they start feeling a little too samey. You have to really pick distinct ones. It's not like Mortal Kombat Armageddon, where there's like eighty thousand characters and they they don't feel very distinct other than their special moves. Like they do their research on on this shit, and they get they get real martial artists to to mocap. At least I'm pretty sure they do. Round two, ready, go! And while this has come out of nowhere, this this release, uh, um, where it was just leaked like a few weeks ago, or when I made that oh, release German suplex. I love it. Um. Uh, while, while, while it got kind of leaked that uh, Sega was doing this, um, and it, it like kind of came out with no promotion. Being on PlayStation Plus is obviously promotion, uh, but those retrospectives that Sega has been releasing uh, on their YouTube channel, uh, link in the description, uh, and they have the Virtual Fighter voice actors narrating each episode. That's pretty sick. Oh, nice. Oh, sick. I'm oh, sorry, Pi. Oh. This has turned into a gimmick match. Wrestling's the ultimate sport. I love it. Oh, shit. Akira is his, is his rival. Uh, I'm not sure if all characters do, but a few characters have, like, their rival that has some sort of storyline justification. I think Akira beat wolf in a lot of the major vf tournaments i'm not sure if wolf actually beat akira like canon wise he might have but i don't i don't remember if he did virtual fighter lore experts let me know in the comments ah oh i might i might pull this off nice nice but yeah, nice that he's his uh, final stage. Although, I'm not sure if I'll be fighting Doral. Maybe. Yeah! Like, you, you do a wrestling throw to Akira and his mind would just explode. He's like, what's happening? <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah! You'll see a lot of moves if you're familiar with Shemu, but not Virtual Fighter. You'll see you'll see some moves transfer over to each one. Uh, I was trying to see if I could get something going near, near the fence. Oh yeah, you can crush the wall a little bit. So I wonder if they just need to take a little bit of damage. Again, it has been a while since I played VF5. Uh, yeah, Diamond Cutter, South High Five. when you fight me. Yeah, well, because he's knocked down there, she is. Not my favorite boss in 
Almost any fighting game? She's just like Pepsi Woman. But I think this is bonus round. I think I have one shot to beat her. Like, I, if I lose here, it's like uh, game over or, or, or whatever it is. Hopefully I can do it. I mean, none, none of the... Uh, none of the other competitors were too bad, but... Mm, she blocks a hell of a lot more. I think she has Kage style on right now. Yeah! Kage or Lao? So yeah, for those that don't know Doral, she's Pepsi Woman, but she cycles through other people's styles. This looks like Akira, maybe? Mm. Actually, I don't know. Like, I think she changes per round. Yeah! We in there, we in there. Let's see if I can pull this back. What was that? That crotch thrust! And her textures changed! Is there extra beveling? Why are you stucco walls? You're a popcorn ceiling now, Doral! Ah, fuck! Damn. That was really close, though. Oh, wow. That crotch explosion. That's the real DX crotch drop. Mm. Okay. Maybe, maybe. I have to get really... Oh, no. That's the thing. Just one small combo. Oh, my God. She's got wolf style. Even notice. Oh, Jesus. Ooh, it's so much damage. Oh, I think that's a hard, a hard no on continuing. It just goes straight to the credits. Damn, fraud detected. Uh, but holy shit, was that really fun? Is that real quick? Um, how how fast the rounds go? Like more so than a lot of fighting games, Virtual Fighter, you have to make a lot of quick decisions. But that was a blast. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see any more Virtual Fighter like this release or some of the older ones, let me know in the comments and I'll see what I can do for you.